How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Lieutenant Dan, with another college film breakdown, collegiate film breakdown. Um, you know, man, I've heard so much about him. I've watched a couple of his tapes, and I decided today was the day to go ahead and break out the Harrison Phillip tapes. We'll just see how it goes. Got a little pushed off the line there. Let's take a look at that again. Center's going to get really, really good placement with him. The center here is going to get hands on him high. And he's 6'4", too, so he may have some issues getting lower. But um, still stands enough. Only loses about a yard and then helps make the tackle, so. What in the world? We need to go back and watch this again. So, so he's going to... He's going to try to split the guard and the center. And I'd like to see him a little more violent with his hands. So that's definitely something that can be taught at the next level. Nothing crazy. I'm not, I'm not going to get overly um, critical about that. But definitely needs to use his hands. And then I don't know if he's selling that he's getting held here. Or that he just doesn't have the strength to push through this. Um, but this center holds right on to him all the way through. So... He's going to engage the center, and center's going to get a little bit of the better of him, push him out of the way. Yeah. Struggling struggling with the, uh, with the one-tech duties right now, taking on a center. But Grady Jarrett, in his first year doing it, was not the greatest in the entire world. He was learning. So he needs to have a little bit of aware awareness there. There he gets kind of pushed to the ground. San Diego State is doing a great job right now of uh, opening space up for Penny. He's going to come in as a one tech, and he's just going to fly right through. Great getting skinny. Love that move right there. That was, that was awesome. There you go. Yeah. Oh, and they're going to count that as a fumble too. All right. He's going to engage the guard. And the guard is going to just battle, and you're right at the line. No one moves one inch, um, and that's good. He's pushed down towards the back end and, end and gets the assisted tackle there. But this center, one, I want to know where he's where he's going to, uh, whether he's like a junior or a senior or something, because he's doing a good job holding him, holding him down pat. Oh, I like that. Engage the guard and just and stonewall him. And then, look, you can see right there, he sees where the running back is. He's made his way through that gap, and he helps make that tackle. If he can play like that on every play, then he's going to be an amazing tackle. He fights here. He fights with this, uh, is it a guard? Let's take a look here. He's going to engage, engage the center and a guard. And he's just going to kind of sit there. He's watching the play, though, so that's good. And lets his teammates corral. Mm. Good push by the offensive lineman. Very good push by the offensive lineman. Just coming downhill and just backing him up. So, needs to get better leverage on that. Now, I know this is a completed pass, but look at this pass rush, though. There are so, there, I wouldn't say there are too many um, rushers coming through there, but basically that Sandy, uh, the San Diego State offensive line has to make some decisions. Um, do they think that Harry is quick and agile? And if they do think that he is quick and agile, do they allow him through at the quarterback and, and the quarterback have a one-time shot down the field because you can see this crossing route uh, going from here and then making its way up the field. That is the main target. It's going to end up somewhere around here. But 
Harry, with other rushers coming that way, he sifts through the line. Now, I want you to put your hands up, young man. Um, I know this quarterback does have some running ability, so you want to put your put put him on the ground. And again, I'm being a little too critical here, but um, he did flatten him. I know the catch was made, but he did flatten him. So choices were had to, had have to be made there, and and choices were made, and he got a pressure, even though it was completed. Let's see here. Sometimes I feel like he doesn't have a plan of attack. But that's just early. Now he notices that it is a screen. And he may even have noticed that that was the running back and that's why he held on to him. So at least good looking out there. And he's pushed out of the play. The San Diego line right now is just getting a better push all over the uh, Stanford line. Just watch. Let's watch this one more time. Really quick. Let's watch the entire Stanford line. The entire Stanford defensive interior line is back two yards from the line of scrimmage. The San Diego line is doing such a great job. Like, wow, way to go. And, and it looks like Stanford is really relying on their ends to do a lot of the work. They really are. They want to push uh, San Diego out to the outsides. They don't want them going, going to the interior. Okay, so we got our first sack. And he does a swim move. But he lose, completely loses his balance. And then gets the sack. Let me watch this one more time. Here he like psyched himself out to get back there. Let's watch that one more time. Let's do that again. Let's see. I guess the linemen were trying to get upfield. Maybe this was going to be a design QB run. I mean, he got the sack though, so the sack is the sack. Here's a good view. Yeah, I mean, he just shoves them off. Just shove. Big shove there. Use some power with those hands. And see, we were talking about how, hey, we'd really like to see, um, we'd like to see Harry with some with some some power in those hands, some hand usage. And there he throws two hands that were connecting to him. He throws them off, but he doesn't keep his balance very well. And therefore, instead of being right in somebody's face and possibly getting his defensive end a, a sack back here quarterback has to step up because he thinks that maybe he can get away now harry is a really long big man <laughs> at six four big arms so he's gonna get that that was like three people on harry what in the heck okay it's just two it's just one of the guy that was taken on 34 fell to the ground But these, these guards in the center are doing such a great job at holding the line. We waited. Good job in disengaging and going after the running back. See, engages on the interior. Nobody moves. Uh, maybe because the design is to go out to the outside to the left and, and uh, pull the guards and, and tight ends and get lead blockers. But watch him recognize right there where that hole is going to be. And goes and grabs him and, and, and gets the tackle. It's for a bit. It's for a chunk of yards. But he at least is there and it doesn't turn into a 20 or 30 yard gain. You know, you know it's five yard gain. And he's a defensive tackle. He shouldn't be getting downfield or upfield, excuse me, too, too often. Downfield. Downfield is the correct term. <laughs> Leaping out to grab the man. I mean, he's, he, he never stops trying to get to the play. We can at least put that part down. So San Diego State has come out with a great game plan of a lot of misdirection and a lot of tough running. And their, their offensive linemen are pushing better than, uh, than the guards. Now that right there might be some holding. Let me take a look at that. He engages the center. And he's, yeah, <laughs> that's holding. <laughs> so he got held there. <laughs> and his arm caught up. 
Now there he tries to shoot for the for the tackle. Yeah, he just tries to shoot and he instead just goes straight down to somebody's knees. Let's see him. Man, they are running a lot of misdirection, so that is making the interior line just useless. And they're getting great push too. Look at that. Look at that push. I know this is a, a Harrison Phillip tape, but Harry gets hit twice by two guys. Boom. There's contact once. And he shifts and goes towards the, the side that they have shown to run multiple times throughout this game so far. We're in the third quarter now. So now he shifts on to a fullback or tight end who also hits him. So they are running multiple blockers and getting guys upfield. I mean, I can't I can't say that San Diego State's not doing their job. They're doing it well. Here, he just does not disengage. You're going to see him right there. He needs to disengage from that and and he doesn't. So, he needs to get an arm out, slow this guy down. Here we get a great view of it where he's going to engage and he's just going to Keep going. Keep going out to one side. Get washed out of this play. So, two negatives that I see right now. Not enough hand usage um, and, and getting washed out of plays. But San Diego State came to play, man. They did. I know the score is only 13-10, to 10, but San Diego State is, is kicking it here in, in the late third. Most of the game, they've been pushing these guys around. Engage. Now I'm going to go to the outside. And that's good. That's good on him. Noticing that, there we go. I got interior guys going. They, they haven't done the run play, so now that I need to cover the outside to make sure that there's no run. So he engages out to the outside. That I can only think that that would be what he's talking about. Here he's engaging in the middle, and with the other defensive tackle, gets the tackle there. We're late, we're late fourth quarter now, and there are just instances where... Um, man, he's coming up good. Look at that good off the line. I just I'm, I'm, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm saying... Let's watch this play again. You're going to see him in the middle right here. Watch this get off. Woo! He's, a, he's the first one getting off the ball. I like that elite get off. That's good. Um, does he influence the play? No. No, he does not influence the play. The, the, the offensive line does a great job of holding him there. In fact, all game, they have held him. and done a great job of holding him. So here we are watching the next bit of film. Let's um, let's go ahead and take a look at this Notre Dame game. So we watched him kind of get washed out a little bit in the first game. Things that I took away from the San Diego State game. Got washed out, didn't use proper hand, hand technique. San Diego State was prepared to run the ball effectively, and I think that that was the most effective part of their game against uh, the Stanford interior line. And it was the entire line. It wasn't just... Uh, Harry getting getting pushed three four yards, you know, upfield. It was the rest of the uh, the Stanford line getting pushed as well. Um, I did see two or three instances of elite get off. I did see some pass rush move, not a lot of it. Um, I did see a lot of fumbling around. So let's see what we can see in this game. This is the next one that the Falcoholic was able to watch. So let's watch this engagement there. Stanford's line, there's three guys corralling him. Um, so they're definitely trying to hold this, the center of the field up. I'm kind of also watching the time, too, because I want to make sure that I see. Good job corralling that. Let's, let's take a look here. To the outside here. And then just bottles the space up. Turns back around to make sure that he didn't get beat. Good job by Stanford, able to stop that up. There he is on the outside there with that rush. And the quarterback went to go run, and he immediately condensed that space. So very smart kid. Very uh, He sees where things are going. He sees what things are happening. His get-off is good. This is all sloppy tackling. And I can say this much, he is not getting pushed like in the San Diego State game. San Diego State's offensive line, 
they'll push you. Um, in this one, look, he's getting he's getting initial push here, and there no one's moving back or forward, but he is getting put on the ground a bunch. He is getting put on the ground a bunch. So in this game, if you overcommit against Notre Dame's offensive line, they will put you on the ground. Whereas San Diego State was not concerned about that. They just wanted to move you out of the way. Looks like Notre Dame's offensive line is very aggressive. Might also have to do with the two teams playing too, Stanford, Notre Dame, with their history. And they want them to play extra aggressive here. But I think Notre Dame's line is aggressive anyway. Like that center. Watch how Harry gets through the first line of defense here, running back for support, and, and Harry kind of takes a blow, and then the center still coming back to finish him off. Uh, you know, there's, there's a little bit there. Woo, I like that pass rush move. I like that pass rush move. Watch this. Woo! Center is put on the ground. Now, there was a screen here, so they will let the outside guys go. What? Wait, what? I'm confused. Nobody moved off the line. What in the heck? Oh, uh, this is one of those design, don't move, we're just going to throw to the back of the end zone type things. All right. You're not going to do it. You're not going to play football. Um, so, again, not super athletic. Uh, I, I am seeing that part. I am seeing, seeing that. Where here on the outside, he's against the right tackle. And anybody with a bit of speed on them would already be near the quarterback. At this point, look, he's like trotting like a horse trying to get there. <laughs> um, so, Lee, a lot to be desired. He is, he's a space-plugging defensive tackle. Really is. But there's nothing wrong with that. You know why? Because Don Tari Poe does that. Lumbering like... Paul Bunyan type, very big. Ah, good job. Good job. He's been sticking to these Notre Dame offensive linemen all night. Finally gets his. Two guys blocking him out, takes on the guard, um, and just gets enough strength and pull to go and get this stop. There he is just fighting. Sees the quarterback in the middle and just jumps out and grabs him. Good job. And he's usually double teamed, what I have no problem with, because he does very 50 50 with him, but he does show relentless pursuit. And that's good. Not the strongest. He definitely put on some NFL weight training, and he would definitely be a better uh, tackle for it. He would be a better defensive tackle for it. I just don't know if you want him in every single defensive play at this point, at this point. Does that mean he's not a first rounder? I don't know. I have no clue because I don't, I don't say that this guy's a first rounder. This guy's a second rounder. I don't say that nonsense. Does that mean that he it won't be a productive member of the, of the, the NFL? That is also untrue. Also, running quarterbacks, that doesn't help your your being a big lumbering guy kind of deal if you're running with a running quarterback all the time. That's also a problem with Vita Vea is that although he can run a, run down these guys, it's not like he's extremely effective at running down these guys. Same thing with Taven Bryan. Same thing with a bunch of other defensive tackles in this class. Mo Hurst, they, they all suffered against uh, running quarterbacks. It's just tough, tough with those running quarterbacks. When you can praise him, you praise him. When you can't, you can't. Late in the fourth quarter now, and uh, and Harry's pushing. He's thriving and pushing and doing everything that he possibly can. Taking on two people usually, and that usually means there's one-on-ones in places. I don't understand why. Um, yeah, I don't understand why. Other guys aren't stepping up to the case. Um, I don't see why other guys are not stepping up and and making their one on ones. Um, I see a lot of that with Taven Bryan as well. Is that you know 
usually he is able to outdo two guys or when he has a chance to do a one-on-one he takes advantage of it um in this case it is the opposite where harry's taking on one-on-ones or two-on-ones and other people aren't doing their assignments and getting to the quarterback hey guys it's your boy lieutenant dan I want to let you know that this is the first part of a several part series on Harrison's Phillips since there was so much tape. If you enjoyed this film, hit the like button and comment in the comment section on what you would think that Harry needs to work on and where he'll get drafted and what team he'll be playing for. Um, If you dislike the video, you can always hit the dislike button and give me your constructive criticisms in the comments. Uh, Make sure if you're new to the channel to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you'll be up to date with all of my newest content when it goes live. Also make sure that you share our content wherever you're coming from, whether that be Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media platforms. As always, you can find us on Instagram and on Twitter at UNGR underscore show. Shock the system.